Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0320, representing JVS. So I'm back here again for another movie review. Uh, surprisingly, I was able to get to see this one early. I'm going to definitely buy it now. Because DC just knows how to nail these animated features. Man, I just got a shot. I feel like I got, like, a little bit. Anyway, I can, I can go there. Anyway, the movie was actually pretty dope. Um, let's go ahead and break it down, though. In terms of animation style, in terms of even the music and the cues for the music and the tone, this was really well made. Um, I think Jay Oliver was the one that actually uh, did this one. Jay, he actually has made some really good ones. And this one is actually up there because from the opening sequences and seeing like the, these different people that are being possessed and dealing with all these different kind of like visions of seeing things literally demonic uh, and it's causing them to act out. It was very vicious and very dark. Uh, just in the opening sequences alone, I couldn't believe they actually went there. Um, so from an original emergence standpoint, they did a really good job. But not just that, this movie, in terms of like action and wizardry and magic, this rivals Doctor Strange in a lot of different ways. Like I expected, you know, fighting in like this kind of level in the Doctor Strange movie, but it'll probably get to that level later on. But a lot of times with animation, there's so much more you can do. And in this one, they went there. I mean, they had characters such as Zatanna. Um, they had um, all the Justice League were kind of there. But the other group, which is, you know, the other dark Justice League characters, um, uh, Swamp Thing, Zatanna, Constantine, Etrigan, I mean, the way that they can showcase their power is really awesome. Even Dead Man, which, I mean, the thing about it for me, uh, looking at it not as a critic, but just as a fan of DC characters, I think they explored all the characters very well. But then on the spiritual side and religious side, I was sitting there watching this. I was like, I rebuke and bind this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't allow this, you know, into my heart because, like, these are, you know, they're reciting incantations. They're reciting all these different kind of, like, wizardry and magic and i was just like i, I don't want no parts of it. so there's a lot of times i was sitting there muting this this movie is not i, I bring that up to say this movie is not for kids <laughs> at all i mean a lot of y'all you know what i'm saying grew up on harry potter and so maybe you're okay with it um just me i was just never that kind of person but i can appreciate the amount of detail comparing this one to like something like Doctor Strange or even like the Doctor Strange animated film like that one was really well done but I think this one was done better and not just that the voice acting having the actual person that did you know Constantine on TV to be Constantine I think that his character is very dark very different and his relationship with Zatanna was very interesting, interesting chemistry. And then Batman being kind of like the fish out of water and just watching all these things that are happening. It was very interesting to actually watch. Not just that, the Justice League were not prepared for these kind of situations. The whole backstory was like they were sitting there trying to figure out what to do. And then Dead Man, you know, intervened and let Batman know what he needed to do, who he needed to contact. And that was John Constantine. But it's just like Constantine has a lot of baggage. A lot of people that hate him. I mean, one of the things was crazy that he was sitting there having this random poking game with these, like, demonic creatures. And I was just like, who is this man? And so I think that they did a really good job showcasing who Constantine was, as well as all the other characters. I mean, a lot of things happen to them that kind of make and put for them into the characters that we know of them. And this is still grounded in the 52 universe. So I think that they did a great job with this. This is actually probably one of the better um, DC animated films I've seen in a while, actually. Uh, I just really, for me, I just couldn't get behind all the magic and the witchcraft and stuff like that. Just me personally. But my appreciated and from a critic standpoint, this was very good. It's very dark. It's to the point. Um, it had a really good villain. It had a lot of twists and turns. And it had a lot of meat and backstory, especially with Etrigan and with Zatanna. I thought that their backstories and like their capabilities were showcased better than I think I've ever really seen them, even in you know the Justice League animated series. So for what they did with this this was dope uh, i am interested to see what the next one's gonna be like which is um teen titans judas contract they've been trying to make that for years and if they do it to the level and the t of this this is borderline rated r in a lot of different ways just from the dialogue and the violence um so I, if they go through it like it's gonna be dope it's really gonna be dope but uh, i was looking for the end of this movie to have some kind of like 
end credit sequence, but it didn't have anything, unfortunately. But uh, all in all, I thought this was a very awesome film. I give this one a 9.5 out of 10. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed my review for this animated feature, Justice League Dark. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Peace, everybody. Woo!